Hi everybody, so I'm starting off with using a blue shadow mixed with a white paint and I'm literally just painting this all over my face to get sort of an idea of the colour. However, I felt that it was too pale so again I added a bit more blue shadow just to intensify the colour. However, I found that I ended up looking a lot like a smurf and that was just not cool with me because it was not the right shade in my opinion for an avatar. So essentially what I went on to do is add a super dark um, sort of dark blue colour, almost like a royal blue colour and this ends up building up to this beautiful sort of colour that's on the screen now and I just feel like this was a little bit better than the previous colours. So if you want to go for a matte finish then I would suggest adding some trans translucent powder to the mix because it makes it a little bit more matte and not so glossy and a lot of face paints you tend to get a really sort of dewy greasy look. So now I'm just starting off by adding some detail and adding some of the avatar markings. I'm just using sort of a navy blue shadow just to sort of define the nose and because avatars tend to have a bit more of a wider nose I sort of extended it and I was also following a picture at this point as well just because it was so much easier. So then I'm starting off with the face markings and I'm literally just drawing these freehand. There's no sort of set rule when I'm drawing these um, but yeah I'm just going in and filling these in. So I'm also taking that same shadow and I'm also going to be lining my lips with this just because it gives a bit more definition and I wish I had removed some of the blue on my lips and added a slight bit of pink um, but anywho you guys can do whatever you like. So I'm now going in with a blue coal pencil on my waterline because it looks a little bit silly with all those pink waterlines sticking out, it just looks a bit strange. And then I'm also applying some pink shadow underneath the nose because I didn't realise that she had this underneath her nose and yes yeah, so I just went and removed that, filled in my eyebrows and then I also went on to now draw the best part about this look for me which was the tiny white dots because it brings everything together. And to keep this look even more budget friendly, I'm just going in with an eyeshadow brush and I'm using the end of it to draw on the dots. So I just wanted to come on and say that I wanted to keep this look as budget friendly as possible because I know that sort of SFX makeup and just makeup in general can be really expensive and I just wanted to show you guys that you can use most of the stuff that you probably have at home and you can recreate looks 
like this that are really fun and really sort of out of your comfort zone and you really don't need to spend that much money. I think the only thing I purchased was this white face paint which was £2 from Makeup Revolution. But yeah, as beautiful as sort of all these expensive products are, I just wanted to show you guys that you can use most of the stuff that you probably have at home or you could probably get a bunch of these products for under £5, so woohoo! In the picture that I was looking at, um, I can't remember her name, I don't even want to butcher the name, but the lady avatar, um, she had the sort of beaded necklace in the picture, so I wanted to recreate this. So one thing that I found was really useful is I mixed a little bit of the blue shadow with the white paint and made it almost like this pastel milky colour and I used this for a highlight in between the sort of details and this really really brought everything together for me. Please ignore my hair here because I sort of waxed it down with this uh, black sort of, I don't even know what it was called, um, so I look like a hot mess. But anyway, I created my own ears, I just cut out some sort of ear shapes out of cardboard, painted them with blue and then a bit of pink shadow and also created that sort of like stretcher look in the ear. And then when I sort of pulled my hair back afterwards, these ears sort of slot in. Now, if you're going out for a night out, you do perhaps want to sort of stick these down somehow because you'll probably end up losing an ear. And that, you guys, was the finished look. I hope you enjoyed this super budget-friendly avatar look. It is by no means any good or nowhere near the quality of professionals, but I just wanted to show you guys you can do stuff like this at home on a budget, and it does look quite effective. So thank you so much for watching, and I shall see you in my next video. Bye!